Hi everyone, this is Daniel. I'm here with my managing partner Madeline. Uh, we're here to chat with you guys on behalf of your reign, one of our clients. We're very honored with this invitation. Uh, we are a marketing agency based out of New York and Los Angeles. What we do for our clients is that we help them come into the American market, establishing their brands. We've been around for 12 years and we have offices in New York and Los Angeles. But we're here to talk to you a little bit about our lives in New York. Um, you know, we have offices in both cities, but Madeline and I, we live in New York. And it's funny, we live across the street from each other. So it's been a total new change for us in, you know, in this, new mind, this new life we're living. And you know, we want to pass it to Madeline first. We can talk about her new reality here in New York. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the mood in New York in general, as it is in many places, it's it's stressful. It's difficult. I think here, especially, we all have limited space. We have limited outdoor space. It's um, you know, it's difficult to maintain social distancing while also trying to get exercise and fresh air. And I think, especially with the weather improving right now. Um, everybody's sort of walking that line and, and trying to be responsible while also you know, looking out for their own well-being and, and mental health as well. Um, you know, I think here in New York, we are the epicenter of this crisis. We are, you know, we have the highest population. We have the highest number of cases. We are, you know, financial hub. We uh, are a cultural hub. We are setting the example in many ways. And I think, you know, people are going to look to us and how we handle this crisis and what happens here next, how much we flatten the curve and how we you know, sort of rise above this crisis as a, as a whole. Yeah. I think New York has always been considered the, considered the center of the world and we, so many examples with New Yorkers who are fighters, uh, we've been through many other things since September 11, you know, so there's always for us this feeling of like rebuilding, doing it again. And, you know, I think for us, people ask, like, so what it has been the learning, what has changed? I think a lot for us, we don't know, we don't have all the answers, you know, I think the key learnings for us, we're learning as we go. I saw a great interview with Bill Gates, for example, when he mentions that. So every week is a new week for us, every month is a new month, and we're also looking to what was happening within the country and using those examples to kind of reopen our own economy. We don't know yet when we're going to be able to go back to work. And I can invite Madeline to maybe talk about how is that going to be going back to work? What's going to be sort of the new normal? Yeah, I think, I mean, everybody has used, has used this time and has been efficient working from home, right? I think we all, everyone is, is finding different ways to be, you know, more resourceful and more communicative and, you know, virtually. And, you know, of course, that will never replace, you know, in-person meetings and, and having contact. And eventually we do all need to go back to that. I, I at least feel personally that way, especially in the fashion industry. But I think that as we, you know, come out of this lockdown, it's not going to just be one day that shifts and everybody goes back to the office and crams onto the subway. I think it's, you know, companies are not going to want to put their employees at risk in that way. And it's going to be a gradual return. And we also have the restaurants, the stores, so all these for us, uh, there are going to be new safety measures that will create some sort of social distance between the customers, the sales team. Uh, but again, there are stores that are reopening this week and we're going to have more, I think, learnings, more information as we go. Uh, but also for us, in terms of what we do for our clients, it's been a great time for us to reflect and re-strategize, rethink our business capabilities. I think, right, we were discussing a lot through our meetings that a lot of we've used to do, especially with the PR part of the work, is relies on personal interaction, personal connection. And I know we're shifting a lot into virtual, right? So do you want to talk about a little bit of things that we're doing towards virtual? Yeah, well, I think in general, I mean, as Daniel said, a lot of our business, so we focus on celebrity services. Uh, that's all reliant on events and, and red carpets, but there's also, you know, there are still ways to work with with talent and with our stylists and editors and, you know, in a different and new way because the industry has to move forward and everybody is still working in some capacity, right? So it's about figuring out how we can help our clients and, you know, not pigeonhole ourselves into one role either, you know, how we can help them across the board, the well-being of their company and how they're going to get out of this crisis and also their messaging, right? And, you know, having a voice, I think that's one of the most important things that a brand can do during this time and, you know, whether it's giving back 
like it's doing what you can within your means, right? So, you know, having a community and developing your community online and social media through your e-commerce platform, um, giving back a portion of sales, whatever it, you know, kind of makes sense. And I know your rain is going to do a wonderful project right now, though we cannot disclose your yet what it is, but yes. uh, we're very happy to help. Yeah, and your rain is a great example of, of somebody who's kind of leading the way and, and has maintained their voice and has remained positive and lighthearted during this time while still recognizing the magnitude of this crisis. And I think that it's really kept their clientele engaged and it's kept us all really interested and, you know. Because it reflects also their DNA. I think they're nice people, they're truly genuine and they're using this opportunity also to help. I think it's sort of our same visual as our company. Uh, I mean, it's a crisis, we know, but we will get through it. And I think also overall, even the industry, especially our fashion industry, has come together.